Hi everyone, welcome to my presentation on boat wake dynamics in no wake zones. And so it's well known that stopping boat wakes as they approach a no wake zone create a pretty large wake behind them that could be a potential factor in shoreline erosion outside of these no wake zones. So we designed an experiment to evaluate these boat wake dynamics as they stop, as a running vessel stops. And so as you can see, our design was pretty simple here. We have four DIY wave gauges set at about a one meter depth and about 40 meters from each other. Um, and so to test this, we ran our boats at about a 4,000 RPMs or about 28 miles per hour in a parallel direction along shore. And we did one treatment where it was continuous running along shore, a second treatment where we stopped parallel to shore at gauge one, and a third treatment where we started our boat acceleration at gauge one to see what the effects of starting boat wakes would be. And here is the data that we collected for this experiment. So we can see the parallel is in the dark blue, the starting treatment is in the turquoise, and the straight run through is in the green. And so we'll go distance by distance just to break this down a little bit. So at zero meters, you can see that just about every treatment was the same and had the same wave height. In the 40 meter distance, um, parallel was still at a pretty decent wave height with and comparable to the straight treatment. And then starting treatment actually had the greatest wave height out of all of our distances and all of our treatments at about 12 centimeters. And then at the 80 meter distance, you can see that the parallel had about a, almost a 50% reduction in its wave height. Uh, the starting was still at the top and had the greatest wave height. And then the straight was continuous and comparable to all of the other distances of the same treatment. And then at 120 meters, uh, the parallel treatment almost reduced to about the water level um, and, or almost completely reduced in some cases. Uh, the starting and the straight treatments actually leveled out as the start treatment was um, planning on top of the water by that point. Alrighty, and so for our discussion, Basically, wakes made from stopping vessels dissipated at approximately 80 meters. Wakes from starting vessels is most pronounced at 40 meters and continue to be the highest treatment up to 80 meters once it actually leveled out and plateaued on top of the water. And then future research is needed, but proximity to starting and stopping vessels should be considered when designing shoreline projects to protect our shorelines, protect property, and to protect the ecosystems that surround it. Alrighty, guys. I want to do a special thanks to Mississippi State University's Extension Apprenticeship Program and my co-authors. And for more information, you can always email us, uh, email me, email Eric Sparks, or visit coastal.msstate.edu for more information. Thanks for watching.